arrived on the uh, site, uh, Batterdale, and noticed this camper parked down the uh, field from us. So we popped down and had a, a chat, and I believe it's it's a Mitsubishi import. Um, it uh, was, I believe, a people carrier, but we'll speak to the owner and get a bit more of the details. So, how did you come across this? I first came across them probably around about 10 years ago. Um, I came up to the Lake District doing some paragliding um, and I went through a, um, a guy who was based over in Keswick and he had one of these and that's, that's the first time I came across them. Right. So, um, and when I first saw them, yeah, you know, before wheel drive, um, it had seven seats in it and what he would do, he had a large expedition roof rack on it and he chucked all the paragliders onto the expedition roof rack, <laughs> loaded wow. all the students up and then he would go up all the old Roman roads that he knew yeah. around Keswick. All oh, right. And the, the, just the places it went, you know, it was of, a, of, a, of an ilk of a, of a Land Rover. Right. And I was so impressed with them, and I always thought I'd like like to get one myself. Mm. Um, and so you, so you, you you say that you kitted it out you know, over over winter. And yeah, yeah. I mean, we decided to get one last year when I, I finally packed in riding the, the BMW <laughs> GS1200 <laughs> Adventure around the, all around the place. Um, and we put our tour in the water um, with my wife, went touring Scotland in the car. Yeah. And then we thought, yeah, this is great. So the bike went and I looked for one of these, picked yeah. up one of these. Um, and then we thought, yeah, let's, let's, let's do it as a camper. But we thought, well, no, let's, let's leave it as it is for now. Because originally it had the seats in it, mm -hmm. two normal front seats two captain's chairs that swung around and a rear bench seat and all the seats folded flat and, and made beds right so we tried that for the first first expedition and the first expedition went up the west coast of scotland so we went up to fort william apple cross mm -hmm. yeah. did all the usual, yeah, yeah yeah but without going right to the very yeah. top in, the, in this instance um and we loved it um but we thought oh the beds aren't brilliant they're not the most comfortable thing in the world um you forever folding stuff <laughs> to make room yeah. to get something else out and it's one yeah. of my pet hates I like everything to have its yeah. place um, and luckily I'm in the position where my father's got a woodwork and shop he was a mach wooden machinist had access to all his kits so we thought right let's do it right so, so can we have a look inside then yeah certainly so um, the first thing I did was I took all the rear seats out, so the two captain's chairs came out, mm -hmm. the rear bench seat came out, um, all the old carpets came out, I then applied all the insulation into the walls, under the floor, mm -hmm. boarded the floor out, boarded the sides out, and then I converted the front passenger seat, removed that and took one of the captain's chairs, made the alterations, fitted the captain's chair in the front to give us this extra, extra leg room. Yeah. And um, it re it, that really works well, doesn't it? It works very well, yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's really, really handy. Um, you know, particularly when it's inclement weather mm. and you don't want to get the awning out, then you can just uh, you can just get in there. And um, units-wise, um, you know, there's, there's there's companies out there, caravans and people like that who do all the parts. Um, unfortunately, no one really does them for these, with them being grey imports, mm -hmm. only made for Japan, only exported to. Australia and New Zealand, I believe, originally. Um, so the only option really was then to build our own. Right. So, um, so I went and bought the timber, cut cardboard plans, worked out where things were going to go, <laughs> how to maximise storage. Yeah. Um, so what we did was we, we actually built the units themselves, bought all the fittings and such like from caravans. Yeah. Um, kitted it out. Mm -hmm. with the drawers and such like. These holes here, that's because in the original van it has all climate control air conditioning fitted. All right. And this was the intake and the blow for the heating system. So what I did was I ducted it through the bottom of the, the, the cupboards so we still have the facility wow. for the heating stroke aircon. 
uh, which is all controlled up here and controlled from the from the dash and you got some fantastic skylights as well don't you yeah, yeah. Um, which are, are quite Gucci <laughs> <laughs> um, if I find the keys it's behind you So on a night so you can douse it down, but during the day, if you've well, yeah. Johnstons. <laughs> <laughs> the radio talks to us. <laughs> that is that that's amazing. Just to do it there, or you can yeah. do them individually. That's fantastic. So it's one of the yeah. Gucci things that we we sort of kept. <laughs> I don't blame you. Um, we put the rear in. Um, mm. The big dilemma was how to do the bed, yeah. whether to buy one off the shelf, yeah. whether to build one out of steel, fabricated. Mm. I'm an engineer by trade, so I could have done that. Um, brought lots of internet trawling, YouTubing. I wanted to go for what the original VW T25s and mm. such like had in them. So we, we bought the hinges, yeah. which has the rock and roll bed, so we're gonna maximize on storage. Mm -hmm. So we've got all the storage under here, and then to turn it into a bed you simply pull it right yeah and that in turn rock and rolls into the bed and then so easy there's also additional storage under here yeah and then not that we're a big fan of going away watching television when we go away Street. but we have that because i um i fly a drone and do various photography i'm so jealous <laughs> <laughs> that's on the list and <laughs> and we use the tv for editing editing yeah so in here i've got the drone itself um so the, the drone's in there there's an ipad in there yeah. there's a gopro in there so there's a bit of everything <laughs> so we'll go away capture varied video footage yeah. and then on a night we'll play about editing it's and watch it on the on, on the screen Very good. and there's also the option there if you're actually drowned out with rain <laughs> you can actually watch a movie you just plug, plug the ipad into it and watch a movie one of the other things that uh, i'm interested in is the awning that you've, you've got um i just oh. it's an arb touring awning um, all folds up I believe into the attachment onto the, which is attached to the roof cage it does yeah um, I mean basically to put it away you pop the velcro tabs on both, obviously you yeah. take the side off first yeah you pop those tabs and then you would pull the peg out And then these are just on a quick release twist. So twist right. it, retract it, and then and that actually does actually fold up and go inside the aluminium. Ah oh, right, yeah, yeah. So that then stores out the weir. And then you do the same with the other side. And then you disconnect these, and these are the same, these are on a disconnect. Yeah. So you can literally take that out. Wow. Retract it, and that in turn. Again. And in turn, just it's in there. folds into there. You do the same on the other side, and then you literally roll the top up. Yeah. Once you've rolled it up, you lock it in with the Velcro. Zip, zip your bag shut. Done. So that's so easy. And you were saying earlier that if you're just parking up in a in a layby, it's you need the extra space because of weather or whatever it is yeah you, yeah you, i mean a lot of these vans you, you, as soon as you open the side door inevitably yeah. the rain doesn't come down vertically mm. um it blows in through the door yeah so yeah. you know you pull up on the side of the lake or in a layby you literally can just run it out and you, you get out the weather yeah so how long did it take you to convert that? 
Um, start to finish, or from when you first start to convert? It was sort of doing it on weekends, so it was over a period of definitely two months to, uh, to do the conversion. Um, and then turn it over again for about <laughs> two months. And then the other thing we've done in the back, to maximise storage again, I'm going to slide this board out of the room. <laughs> And that goes on the roof, does it? Yeah, that just pops up on the roof, onto the rack. Because it's a high, being four-wheel drive, mm. we carry a portable ladder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the bike rack is multi-purpose. It, um, we literally get the security strap off. Undo the side. And then we put our ladder for getting up onto the roof. <laughs> 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 Which is great for putting the boat on and off. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's where we keep the stove as well. Yes. We'll come onto the stove in a, in a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's actually the ladder. I'll put that down there for now. And well, the one thing I do need to do is upgrade the gas rams. Mm -hmm. But as well as having the I feel like the, the wardrobe on the side. I uh, installed these large doors, <laughs> 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 which is though. which is great. So we have all our billy cans, multi-purpose. Yeah. Um, Homebrew ginger beer. Homebrew ginger beer. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then on this side, various walking things, rucksacks, little walking poles, um, etc really goes to show when Boots. you put your mind to it and see what you can do. Yeah. 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 There's no stopping anyone really. No. Yeah. Um, at the moment, the mattress we have on there is actually off a, a futon that we had that we never used at home. Mm -hmm. So it, it's not actually full width at the moment. Mm -hmm. That's on the to-do list <laughs> at some point. That's the other thing. There's always a bit more to do, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Just keep adding to it to make, yeah, yeah, make yeah. it how you want yeah, it when you... It's like trial and error when you come away. You don't know, you know, things you might have missed mm, or... That's right, yeah. You see, I mean, in the past what we've done, we've, we've popped this open, we've put a board on here, and you can actually cook on there yeah. if you want yeah. something, you know, you know, for weather again. That's it. Yeah. And, um, and things like, you know, putting the curtains in, which were great from Caravans, mm -hmm. down in Keesley. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely great service that you get from those guys, mm -hmm. spot on. That's lovely. I can't actually think of anything else you could do to it. It's perfect. It's, it's, it's yeah, we're like in a, you know, this side's where our first aid kit is and yeah. straps for the roof rack and um, behind mm -hmm. here, stuff that we don't want to get access to because that goes the full length of those drawers. Yeah. Um, but that's where we carry like the tools, spare bulbs, yeah, oil, mm -hmm. coolant, mm -hmm. that sort of thing for the van. So if you like, if you like, that's van related. Yeah. <laughs> this van is walking related with an electric hookup. Yeah. So we pull the electric hookup out of there, mm -hmm. just trail it out the back door, plug it in, and then we've got everything inside that we need. Mm -hmm. um, under the bed there's actually a, a halogen oven nice. <laughs> that, we, that we lift out yeah. to use the oven for, yeah. oven for, for cooking. Um, yeah. And then the table when it falls down slides underneath here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Max, just maximising storage. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, we one thing, last thing we need to look at is this, this stove. This stove. <laughs> so we've got a, a wood, wood, wood burner stove, um, the chimney just going up, and this is what uh, brought us to the, the uh, this fan. We saw the smoke, um, and we thought oh, we'd better go and investigate. Uh, and you do a lot of mostly cooking on here. We, we do literally ninety percent of our cooking on here. The only time we won't use it to cook is on a morning. Yeah. If we're going to be breaking camp and we want to pack it away so we don't want to get it hot. Right. Um, we've let it sort of die down now. We've finished and it's such yeah. a nice yeah, evening. Yeah. Um, but essentially, it's, it's it's known as a frontier stove. Yeah. That's, that's its descriptive name. Um, you've got the folding tripod legs which yeah. you pull the pin out 
everything's a bit hot at the moment so yeah, yeah. you pull the pin out and the leg folds up same on this side same at the front and then the actual chimney itself is, is, is in sections those sections come off and you actually store them inside right um, and then once stored inside it has its own wow. carry bag so it's all nice and that that goes in there so the stove literally fits into the, ba much. the bag itself yeah. the spark arrested which is on the very top goes into one end yeah. and then because it's a wood burning stove we use a heavy skillet pan to cook in. Yes. Um, and you, that's it. And that's Ooh. us. We're, we're all here. Lovely. Um, it's great. It doubles up. It provides you the heat on an evening if you need it. Yeah. And it's, it's just so practical for cooking. Yeah. Thank you. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the second thing.